Hey everyone, I just finished up with my newest build here, which is the 3D Sets Bamboo. Uh, this is a model of a Toyota FJ Land Cruiser. It's pretty awesome, and we do have build kits available at our website at www.rcprinter.com. So check us out if you are looking to build something like this and want to have one of your own. Let's uh, go ahead and give you a little tour. So here's the interior. You can see it's kind of a brown on blue with some gray accents as well. Uh, this front dash here is actually printed with three different colors, so uh, three different rolls of filament went into that. Just different layer heights and it uh, looks pretty awesome. The ESC, the switch to turn it on and off, is in here. So, oh sorry, you can just uh, flick this guy and it turns on, off. And that's right in the center console. You can see here the interior door panels, and these are the little uh, clasps that hold hold it shut. And they just clip right into these little um, cylinder head M3 screws right there. It can be a little bit hard to open the door. You're actually supposed to just shove your fingernail under here and pop pull. And the more I open it, the easier it gets. But initially, it was a little bit stiff. So let's take a look at the tires here. The tires are one of the things I'm not super happy with. Uh, I think I ordered tires that are just a bit too big for this vehicle. The front ones look pretty good, but the rear ones don't seem to be sitting exactly in the right spot. Um, and I think the shocks that I have are maybe a little bit big too. I kind of want it to sit down a little bit more and then if I push it down, I'm getting some rubbing right here. So if I'm gonna stick with these bigger tires, I might actually want to extend those. Uh, rear suspension arms just a little bit just to kind of move this maybe half a centimeter towards the back. Uh, the rear um, hubs here have these little caps you can put on them which looks pretty cool and the front ones uh, you can see there it's like a fake 4x4 locking hub that goes on which is nice but I love the design of the wheels I think they look pretty cool. Um, another thing to note is that I did install underneath here uh, in that little differential case. Um, there is an open differential, so that is front and rear, so the tires can uh, spin independently, which is kind of cool. The rancher that I have is a locked differential front and back, and so it doesn't turn all that great uh, when you have carpet or hardwood flooring. It's really meant for outside use. So with this one I really wanted to have an open differential front and rear so that I got maximum turning. If you were building one for yourself, I think the optimal setup would probably be a locked diff in the back and an open diff up front, and I think that would give you a really good mix of 4x4 ability but then also turning. But uh, this one does turn on a dime and I will, uh, I'll show you that in a sec here. So obviously in the front here we have these, these little lights which are multi-material as well pop open the hood so you can see what's inside. So we got a little fake battery here and a little air cleaner there. Uh, here's the radiator which you can slide up and you can actually look right through the radiator which is pretty sweet. I can slide it back into place. There we go. Uh, this front grill normally says bamboo but I looked on the Facebook group and somebody had actually created one that said Toyota so I thought that was pretty neat as well so I uh, did a Toyota one. So it is driven by this guy, which is a brushless Outrunner, I think it's C3530 motor, uh, 1100 kV. And the gearbox here is a belt driven gearbox, so there's four different belts inside there. And the servo is right underneath here for steering. All the wires run through here and they run through that center console in the cab and into the back. And that's where the battery is. So this is what the back looks like. Uh, you can see we did some multi-material prints as well for the rear lights. Um, I'm not super happy with this spare tire that I have. I didn't want to buy another set of four tires, so I just used an old one I had lying around, but it looks not super great. So I might see if I can 3D print one, actually. Um, that'll work out there. One thing to note on these bumpers is 
Make sure you have the right bumper on the right side, otherwise um, this spare tire bar won't have anything to clip into. So I made that mistake and had to fix it, but it's an easy fix. The rear doors here will open like that. And you can see the rear seats. So I can flip these up and down on each side. And this um, little cooler set up here, this is actually where your battery goes. So you can slide this out and you can see the battery under there. I can slide back in. Now this uh, top here can actually come off. There's one, two, and then around the other side, three, four different screws, and then this will pop right off. You do actually actually have to take these rear doors off too. And one thing, this one, this is the Model 10. Uh, the Model 9 is the one without the hard top. And it also comes with these shorty doors that are only half size so you can keep the doors on. Um, so you don't get that with the hard top, which is kind of unfortunate. So that's one suggestion I might make to them is, uh, you know, hopefully they can include those in the hard top design as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our new FJ. Let's turn it on here. And we'll throw it on the floor, see how she runs. All right, here we go. So you can see it turns really nicely. It is a little tippier though than my Rancher and I think that's just because I have taller shocks and uh, bigger tires as well. And I actually, I think the body is a little bit taller as well. Um, but the general dimensions are pretty much the same. Can hear I'm getting a little bit of rubbing from one of my joints. But it's not too bad. So yeah, pretty happy with it. So make sure you stay tuned because we're going to do a full build video on this guy here pretty quick. And uh, obviously some testing videos. Again, we do have build kits available for the bamboo, including fasteners, belts, bearings, motors, and speed controllers. So if you are interested, check us out at rcprinter.com. Till next time.